A group of youths in Kabali district, together under the association of Chigezi NRM Ghetto Friends Foundation, have today evening gathered at Kabali Primary School Playground to witness the swearing in of their erected ghetto president and appointing of the new ghetto cabinet that will attend to their different concerns and also represent them to different calls. And, 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 and NRM Chigezi Ghetto Friends, Solomon is swear that I will do my best to do my duty for God and my country to help other people at all times. Help in implementing the NLM manifesto. So God, help me. Woo! Happy Ruth as religious affairs. Big up to you, Wagwandia. Wagwandia. Big to you, man. Hallelujah, Ediga, as ghetto ambassador. Wagwandia, big, you ghetto ambassador. In attendance, was the Kabali District Police Commander, Superintendent Abe Lugaza, who was also the guest of honor in the absence of the RDC. Abe thanked the ghetto youths for having recognized from themselves leadership and pledged to work with them as security to make them at least take a step in their day-to-day -day life. For the time I've been here in Kabale, they have been very good to me. They have shared with me information. They have worked with the security to fight crime in Kabale. So I wanted to thank them and also to congratulate their leadership here in Kavale and also uh, to tell them that uh, we as security, we are ready to work with them to also give them confidence and hope that uh, uh, they can. If others have made it in life, they can also make it. The DPC continues to emphasize on lobbying for them in political offices and some done government organizations so that they can get what to do and reduce on crimes such as the abuse of drugs. Well, the few issues I've had with them is uh, in certain areas I found that uh, there will be so much uh, swallowed up by uh, smoking opium, a few of them, not all, and uh, taking the sniffing the gum. In certain areas where I've seen and we have been able to apprehend some of them. And, uh, but I, at the end of it, all I look at it is that uh, if you keep on arresting them, charging them, taking them to court, they go to prison, they serve, they come back, I think we are hardening them. So the approach should be to get closer to them and also bring them closer to us, work with us, get them uh, something to do, like skilling, as I've, as I've said, in certain organizations. Uh, both religious and other NGOs I've seen around. Like tomorrow I'm going to meet some of the organizations uh, which I think will be so important or so instrumental in getting them out of the ghetto. The elected ghetto president, Musa Asebwe, said that the main motion of their association is to trap employment opportunities for the ghetto youths because unemployment is their major problem. Through this association, just we are trying to target to trap some jobs for the ghetto youths. Reality to drop some jobs for the reality. The problem is the unemployment in the, in the, among the ghetto is unemployment. Some of the other youths that had attended appreciate the initiative as they say it's going to be the only way of getting what to do and being recognized by the government offices. <laughs> We need your help, all women, all over Kampala, Kawale, Chisolo, Tungamo. We need all your help because here in Kawale, ghetto, ghetto women are suffering. We are Ugandans. We are your Ugandans. We are your people. So help us. We need your help. Nobody can match for Stories TV.